Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chantal, if this is your first time. No. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Chantal and today we're gonna be creating a gorgeous bronze look and I'm gonna show you how to accomplish this when you're pale as fuck like me. So, let's get started. We're gonna go through the full face and I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Photo Finish um, Foundation Primer. You just need a tiny little bit. I'm gonna massage this all over my face. And I did wash my hands, so my hands are nice and clean. That's really important. You wash your hands before you touch your face when applying makeup. And I like to prime my under eyes um, just to help with the creasing and stuff under my concealer. I do set it, but it still helps a lot and it helps just leave a really smooth finish. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. And you just need a tiny little bit. And I just like to give that like 30 seconds just to set in before I apply any foundation. And for my foundation today, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. And this is in the shade Classic Ivory. And I'm going to use my damp beauty blender. Just going to apply that all over the face. Get a nice full coverage. And then for my eyebrows, I'm gonna be using the NYX Eyebrow Powder in the shade Brunette. I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows. I need to get my eyebrows done so bad, but we're going to work with what we got today. And I never get my brows perfect when filling them in just because I like to outline them. Um, I just try to fill them in as much as possible and get them looking as close as possible. My eyebrows have a very different shape, so I have to shape them. And the way I like to outline my brows is I use, like to use a um, very light concealer and an angled eyebrow brush and this is the Stia eyebrow brush that And then once you're done, you're gonna end up with something like this. So you're gonna need to blend it all in and I'm gonna use the flat top concealer brush and I'm gonna blend this in. You wanna be very careful, that way you don't mess up the defined lines that you just created. So now that we're done with the eyebrows, we can move on to the eyeshadow look. And to prime my eyelids, I'm gonna use the Locket Eyeshadow Primer by Kat Von D and this is in the shade Fair. And I use my flat top concealer brush to blend that in. So for today's bronze look, we're gonna be using the Violet Boss Like a Boss Pro Eyeshadow Palette. And this is the perfect palette if you're trying to accomplish a copper look, a peach look. We have a lot of really nice bronze colors in here. Um, and we can also create a really pretty maroon look with this palette. It's so versatile, you can do so many different things with it. But today, we're gonna be creating a bronze eye. So for my transition color, I'm gonna be using this color here, which is um, kind of like a tan color, and it's called Women Crush Wednesday WCW.
Now I'm going to take this color Serve and I'm going to blend this right into my crease. And like I said before, we want this inner eye to stay pretty subtle, so you're not going to blend it all the way in. And I'm just going to pull that down a little bit onto the lid on the outer eye here. Now I'm going to take this shimmery rose gold color called Fierce, and I'm going to blend this on my lid on the inner eye and blend it up. I'm not going to, or blend it in, and I'm not going to blend it all the way out onto the outer lid. I'm going to use a different color there, so I don't want it to blend too insanely. And then for the outer lid, I'm gonna mix this color Batty and this color Realness. This color Batty is kind of like a um, silvery bronze color. It's kind of hard to see, but it's so pretty and it's gonna mix really, really well with this copper color. I just don't want my eye to be too copper. I want it to be more bronze than anything. And then I'm gonna pull this up and out into this little V here. A little bit get a little shimmer on the end all right so that's it for the eyes right now we'll come back to that in a minute we're gonna go in with some concealer and brighten up these eyes I have this Dior sample and this is the forever undercover concealer and this is in the shade linen 021 so this concealer is a little bit too dark so I'm going to mix it with my Kylie Jenner concealer and this is in the shade shell so I just mix the two on my hand like this, and then I'm gonna use my um, concealer brush from Kestrel, and I'm going to put this under my eye. And with this brush, I'm gonna create a nice um, line for my eyeshadow. And I'm feeling like this is still a little bit too dark, so we're just gonna put some dots of Kylie's concealer. I do like this Dior concealer though. It's really silky and velvety. It's really nice. Now I'm just gonna use my damp beauty blender and I liked my beauty blender to be pretty wet when I'm blending my concealer. Um, it just leaves a nice, really smooth finish. And then I'm just gonna use the leftover concealer that's in my sponge to um, lightly contour my nose and right here. Love that Dior concealer. It literally just like whoosh, covers everything. It's so amazing. And then before you use any setting powder, you're gonna want this to dry, especially if you use a pretty wet beauty blender like myself. And for my setting powder today, I'm gonna be using the Smoothing Translucent Setting Powder by Sephora. I'm just gonna put somewhere I put that leftover concealer as well for my sponge. And you can see how amazing that just smooths everything out and leaves a really nice finish. For my foundation powder today, I'm gonna to be using the Bare Minerals and this is in the shade Fair. 
and I'm gonna use my powder brush from Kestrel and I'm gonna blend that all over my face. I'm gonna try to avoid the under eye area just because that's set and we don't need any powder underneath the eye. Make sure you guys blend down your neck and also into your hairline as well. Especially when you're creating a bronze look, you don't want any lines when you're as fair as me. So for my contour today, I'm gonna to be using the Taintalizer Baked Bronzer in the Matte Tan Havana Matte by Lorac. And this is an amazing bronzer um, or an amazing powder for a contour when you're going for a bronze look. And it's also paired with this beautiful bronzer, and this is in the shade, what is the shade here? It doesn't have a shade name, but it's called Taintalizer Baked Bronzer, and I'm gonna, I'll include all the product links in the description below, but this is freaking gorgeous. And we're gonna be using the Shade and Light Contour Brush, which this case is so extra, but love it. And I'm gonna be using the Matte Bronzer first for my contour. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that powder and I'm going to brush it down the side of my nose here. And now for my bronzer, I'm gonna be using the Baked Bronzer from Lorac. And then for my blush, I'm gonna use the True Beauty Blush by Bare Minerals. And this is like a really sparkly, gorgeous blush. Look how pretty that is. And honestly, with a bronze look, you could probably take it or take or leave the blush. I love blush, I can't live without blush, so I have to put it on, but the hair's crazy. Sorry, it was just totally like a messy bun kind of day, if you know what I'm saying, so. So now we're gonna go back to the Violet Voss palette and we're gonna do the lower lash line. I'm going to take this color Woman Crush Wednesday and I'm gonna mix it with Serve, which are the two colors I used in my crease and for my transition. Um, we're gonna blend this down on the lower lash line and smoke out this bronzed eye. Now I'm gonna take some of this color Realness, which is this copper color here, and I'm just gonna blend that into the outer eye on the bottom lash line. And then for my highlight, I'm gonna be using this color Glimmer right here. Um, it's kind of hard to see because it's a very loved color, but it's a very nice bronzy, goldy, um, Highlight. So I'm gonna blend this into the corner of my eye. On my brow bone. And I'm gonna use the light side of my Shade and Light Contour Brush by Kat Von D. I'm gonna use that same highlight, that bronze highlight called Glimmer. Um, I didn't tell you guys, it's out of my Bella Pierre Cosmetics Illuminating Palette. I'm gonna brush that on my cheekbones.
highlight the chin and forehead just a tad. And then to highlight the nose, I'm gonna use my blending shadow brush, which is what I used to blend the highlight into my eyes. I'm gonna highlight the lip as well. Then I'm gonna use my Tarte Double Take Eyeliner in the shade Black, and I'm gonna use the felt tip side. And I'm just going to do a line on my eyelid, my top eyelid, so that I have a nice base for my lashes. All right, now that we have a nice base for our lashes, I'm just gonna go on with a little bit of mascara on the top. And I'm gonna use my J Marc Jacobs Mascara, and the this is the Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. And for my lashes today, I'll be using the Velour Barely There, which I've already taken them out of my case, and I'm not gonna put them back just to show you. And then for our lip today, I'm gonna be mixing these two colors, and this is the Revlon Matte Lip Color in the shade Eternity. And this is a Smashbox lip color, and it's a matte lip color, and it's like a coppery um, color. It's always on metallic matte, and it's gorgeous. And then I'm gonna take the Smashbox color and I'm just gonna put a little bit on the bottom lip right in the middle. And I'm gonna use my lip brush and I'm just going to blend that in. All right, you guys, here is the finished look. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this bronze beauty look that I created today with the Violet Boss Like a Boss eyeshadow palette. I love using coppery warm tones to create a bronze look. Today was more of like a soft glam bronze look, but I love it. It's so gorgeous. And if you have fair skin tone like myself, you can definitely pull off this look as you can see. If you like this video, don't forget to push like and hit subscribe along with the little bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I really appreciate all the love and support from you guys. If you ha have any questions or comments, definitely let me know down in the bottom and let me know if there's any kind of looks that you'd like to see me create. I love getting feedback from you guys, so let me know what's up. Let me know what you want to see. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Easter weekend. I will see you in my next video. Thanks.